Hey everyone, this is Cameron from speedkeepshop.com and today I'm very excited to be taking a look at the GAN 11 M Pro. So I've been very highly anticipating the release of this cube now for months and the first impression I have is the box is pretty cool. It's a lot smaller than that of the XS and has this really cool holographic finish. But other than that, it's very minimalistic, which is kind of GAN's, you know, that's been their brand for a while. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside the box. Anticipation is killing me. Okay, we have a very cool holographic ID card that has like the serial number and some social media QR codes on the back. So that's pretty cool for the novelty feature. It has a picture of the GAN 11 Pro on there. Next up, we have a cube station. Like QR code that I guess if you have a cube that is compatible with CubeStation, you can download it there. And now we have the cube itself and the accessories. So the box for the cube looks pretty cool. So I'll take it out, but I think I'm gonna save that one for the end and take a look at the accessory box first. So more than likely, the accessories are gonna be pretty standard. We have, I see the GAN bag in there, which I guess I'll take out to show you. Nothing really too crazy here. We haven't seen a redesign of the GAN bag for a while. And then we have a pamphlet that presumably goes over the functionality of the adjustment system, which, yep, that's pretty much what it is. So it talks about the corner magnets and the edge magnets, as well as the core. And the 11M Pro does feature the same core adjustment system as the XS. So you have the distance travel nuts and then the numerical nut, which is a pretty solid system. Have a small accessory box in here. And then we have what might be the world's smallest flathead screwdriver, which is pretty funny. So let's go ahead and take, oh, and we have the CFOP guide. So taking a look at the accessories, this is gonna probably be the spare corner magnets, which, yep. So this is actually the triangle corner magnets because this cube comes with the octagon or, or hex magnets, I mean, for the corner, and then the triangle corner magnets. I'm not exactly sure which ones are stronger I don't think that was discussed in the guide or the release, so I'll try to test those out. Then we have the dark blue distance travel nuts and the adjustment tool for the core. I presume this flathead is gonna be used to adjust the edge magnets, um, so I'll show you how that works. And moving on to the cube itself, I'm very excited to take a look at this box. I am already excited because it not only looks great, but it is gonna likely be a lot easier to open than the previous ones, which I know has been an issue for some of our customers. So I see the GAN logo here on the front and on the back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and gently press those. <laughs> that is the coolest box I think I've ever seen for a cube. Let's just do that one more time. It's like a Pokeball. Like I wanna do like a cutscene of like, Who's that Pokemon? And then it has like the GAN 11 Pro. That's, what, that's exactly what this feels like. So really cool. Uh, I can't give GAN enough props for this awesome box design. So the GAN 11 M Pro comes in four versions and our sample that we are looking at today is gonna be the frosted or matte exterior finish with the primary internals. The same exterior finish comes also available with black internals. There's also a um, soft exterior finish, which only comes with primary internals and is like a rubbery exterior feel, kind of like some gaming mice or uh, like the YJ timer was. Then, then we have the UV coating, which is similar, it sounds like, to our PVC coating, but I'm not really too sure exactly, so we'll be doing some comparisons on that. It's pretty much a high gloss finish that is supposed to have some added grip. So once that is available, which is expected to be in November, I believe, unless that gets pushed back along with the soft finish, we'll certainly be taking a look at those. But my first impressions of the cube itself is this thing is extremely light. It is a 63 gram cube in terms of weight, and you can definitely tell it just feels very airy, uh, um, just very lightweight. So I'm dying to see what this core to corner magnet system feels like. So let's go ahead and do the first turns. Very interesting. It isn't really what I felt it would feel like. I don't really know how to describe it. It's more of just a more consistent magnetic feel. So on something like the XS, it's more of like, there's no magnet strength, no magnet strength and then when it 
uh, attracts from the edge to the corner. You can feel the magnetic attraction, obviously. With the core magnet, it just, I don't know, it feels a little bit more, like I said, just consistent and not as jarring as most magnets do. Overall, I have to say I'm actually really impressed that this cube is not really locking up. It's very flexible, which is pretty common, even I think for the XS out of the box typically. Um, I presume that the presets are gonna be pretty much the same. Yeah, it looks like it's the same presets that the XS comes with. Um, center capture also looks like the same, so it seems like that the core itself, aside from the magnets of course, is gonna be the same thing as what we see on the XS. The turning itself is a very smooth, but kind of swishy, like scratchy feel. Very effortless, does not take a lot of force at all. And again, I don't know if it's the corner to core magnets that are helping with the stability, but despite this kind of flexible setting, I'm not really having a hard time turning the cube. And I'm just doing free turns, which is typically where you see the most locking because you're just kind of turning fast, rough, and like aimlessly. But I'm really impressed so far with what I'm actually seeing from the 11M Pro. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna do just a quick solve. Not really trying too much. Whoops. Just wanna get it back to solve state. So again, wasn't really like, you know, go on for time, but it's a very comfortable solving experience, which is nice. Let's take a look at the mechanism. So this edge, I already noticed, we still have the honeycomb, of course, which is like Dan's staple at this point. But the edge is a lot flatter right here, I'm noticing, whereas the XS was more raised in the center. So that might be contributing to the more smooth turning feel. The corners I see have that kind of scalloped shell look on the feet. I think like how the Monster Go Cubes data of memory serves me correctly. And then we do have the magnetic adjustment here in the corner piece and then the corner magnet. So there are tabs on the corner and the edges that allow you to adjust the magnet strength. So, or no, I think it's maybe just on the corners. Yeah, just on the corners, excuse me, not on the edges. So the cube actually should be coming set on the middle setting. So I don't know why this one did not. And this is why you need the screwdriver. Man, everything is just flipping out of my hands because you can't really get in there with your fingers, so you just kind of need to like, I'm presuming, just, hmm. Oh, there you go. Um, yeah, so use the flathead screwdriver just to really gently move the magnets into the middle position. So if I am correct, this is gonna be setting one, two, and three, which, yep, that's even labeled very, very like faint all right here on the corner. So one is gonna be the weakest, two is gonna be the neutral setting, and three is gonna be the strongest. The corner magnets, it comes with the hex magnets already pre-installed. And to remove these, you twist counterclockwise and pull out like that. I'm gonna admit, guys, that was not extremely easy to do. It did kind of hurt my fingertips a little bit. Unless I'm missing it and didn't see it in the instruction guide, I'm really surprised this, this did not come with a tool like like how the original GAN core tools are. Something to get that out because that was not very pleasant on my fingers. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, show you how we put in a additional magnet. So to put it back in, we would insert and turn clockwise. And you can kind of feel it gradually snap into place. And now we have a different magnet feel. The core, you can see the magnet right there. I'll actually take out this edge piece. So you can see that the core magnets are right there. And of course, when a corner is installed, like here, I'll show you for example. Um, let's grab this one. It is obviously attracting, so you can have a corner just free floating in the cube. Definitely a very interesting idea by GAN, and I'm really happy to see that they are trying different things and kind of pushing the boundaries. I've always wondered with GAN cubes what they're gonna do next. I feel like that with each release they do, it can't really get much better, and somehow they seem to find a way to keep pushing the envelope. 
So what I'm gonna do really quickly is do some adjustments on the core and the magnet strength to kind of set it up to more of how I like, and then I'm gonna add in some lubricant, and I'll come back and kind of give you guys my impressions on the cube after some light setup. Okay, so after some adjustment on the 11M Pro, I ended up settling on the number four setting for the dark blue hex nut, and then the fifth click for the clear. Then I went and kept it on the neutral or two setting for the corner magnets. I did find that these magnets were kind of misset. Some of them were on number three and some of them were on number two. So that might be something to consider out of the box. I don't know if that's kind of a consistent trend or not with these, but I did notice that some of them did move a lot easier than others. So that might be something to look into if you find you're just feeling a little bit off. I will say that this cube right now, how I have it set, is a prime example of how Can's customization system really works and does a great job of completely transforming a cube. I now took the cube from being very fast and kind of like loose, and now it's just, you know, it's very stable, turns very smoothly, and is very confident, confidence inspiring to turn. Ultimately, this is a lot more what I like in a cube, is this kind of more like, smooth feel with a stable core. I did add a total of 12 drops of Nebula throughout the cube and I've been working them in so that also helped kind of slow down the turning a little bit to make it a bit more controllable. Corner cutting is not compromised at all and it's still plenty for what I use. It can go just over 45 so that's definitely no issue there. The magnet feel I feel like with the lubricant added is still very consistent like you can still feel it as you're turning but it is a lot more subdued and I do really like how the two setting for the corner magnets feels. So ultimately I'm really happy with this setup. I think the biggest thing that makes this feel different than an XS is gonna be the magnet feel and just the lightweight and the turning. So the XS is a lot more, I don't wanna say like clacky, but it definitely has a lot different of a feel. It's kind of hard to describe. Whereas the 11M Pro is just a lot more lightweight, kind of nimble feeling. So you can do a lot with this cube, so it's definitely, I mean, I'm confident that every single speed cuber that tries this could find a setting that would be great for them. So I'm really happy with this so far. I will be doing some more testing on the 11M Pro, but I'm really excited to have this thing released and try out the soft and the UV coated options. If you are looking to get the GAN 11 Pro, there is pretty limited stock on the first run, so you wanna go ahead and get your pre-order in. They are for sale right now at speedcubeshop.com. I'll have a link in the description box down, down below for those that are interested. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I've been really happy to bring this to you and I hope you all got some information out of it. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below as always, and I'll see you all in the next video.